Let's see, uh, say the title first. This is Attack. I've been working on this poem now for about six years. It's a beat poem for a lost America by John Cook. Some days I'm a Christian, and other days I'm whipping Jesus. I'm waiting for the innocent wind, decomposition. The night was a lesson learned. Hardships followed by fresh graves. I bled my throat upon a thicket, spitting in the eyes of authority. Brand new blue brass handlebar, chrome candy bar, confederate scabbard, soft rhythmic hums of jazz. Swallow your food, swallow your pride. Bring me a mirror to observe complexities. Instead, I'll weep in my sleep. I remember caring for nothing. The freedom of youth allowed me to do as I pleased. The future is female. I am draped in cigarettes and booze. You're not missing much except disease. Steel romance and suddenly a tobacco pipe began to breathe. And you look like you are old. There's a place for you in paradise, or so I'm told. The children are hungry. There's no food today. In the institutions are our maniacs, and on the river a genius who is paid by the hour. I dream of Charlie. Toes, breasts, vaginal canal, and sodomy. There's a woman crying on the road. She's had an abortion last week. I wonder what name St. Peter will choose for an innocent life with nothing left to lose. And I'm stuck at the keys, living a life of inconvenience, wondering what time to take my next dose of lithium as the sky begins to erode. The grass turns black and the smoke fills the room next to an ashtray forgotten yet still in bloom and the whiskey is almost empty and Charlie is still wearing a bra. Their makeup is on backwards and the cat has gone up and died. Tomorrow is not for certain. There isn't much more to do but think. Ativan, Jesus, what a drug. It's hard to take more than a milligram or two. Leaves you spinning with confusion, thinking back. Mother, defined by a gunshot. And father, a cuckold and a fiend. Maternal amplexus. And if you don't know, amplexus is when the frogs mate. Edit. Cocaine is a dangerous high. Leave that speed alone. My river flows north. How about yours? The painful thing about rivers is they're often polluted by bums or vagrants or vagabonds, hobos, whatever lost child is in need of St. Christopher. I lost the red journal. I know it'll turn up somewhere. Charlie is on the couch with Jackson. Red leather sofa and a drum. A hand drum to be exact. Red leather shoes and plastic perfumes. Light pouring through the kitchen window like a tea kettle. And there was food not long ago. Sex was on the brain. So were other things. Ah, there's nothing a hundred dollars wouldn't fix. Leather shoes, for God's sake. Or not. Huffing gas all night. A tattoo machine at my feet. Defined by deceits and lies. I trash the apartment in a fit of rage. I set my partner screaming while the moonlight wept through the curtains. Cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. At least I'm not out on the streets. The medicine cabinet ain't full. I think there's only a toothbrush. Sore and bruised from a late night lovemaking session. Taxi cabs steam all night long and broken dreams lay on top of a mirror. There's a fetishist down the street. I think they scare Charlie or not. I'm certainly not worried. It's 4.30 a.m. and I haven't slept in a week or so. My lungs are about to quit. The drugstore was selling newspapers. Who could pass up such a deal? Wasps are out of control this summer. I have a wasp situation. Call the exterminator. There are wasps everywhere. What kind of gas will they spray? And will it kill the wasps? My succulent is inside my speaker next to the turntable beside the precious vinyl, and I do indeed have a problem. A Midwestern sense of love is never a bad thing to develop, but a habit is a hard thing to rid oneself of, for I've seen the struggles of the addict. The habit is hard to break. I can't seem to quit smoking. I'm a cigarette away from happiness. 
we must remind ourselves daily to pray. Pray for others. Fuck it. Pray for nothing. I can see in my mind bubblegum daydreams when life was peaceful until the shots rang out and the youth were incarcerated all those long years ago. Thinking back to the bars, I never searched much for women, for I had my partner Charlie, my wonderful partner Charlie. But at the dope came, at the bars came dope and smoke and reefers and coke and sex was everywhere. The fags came out to play. Fairy bartenders, I loved them best. I wondered about the time of Christ, and I encountered non-believers everywhere. I can't judge. I rarely believe on any given day. Sometimes I wish I could. I bought a gun last week. I'm not sure what I'll use it for. And I can envision agony of the worst kind, wondering about the choices of self-sacrifice. Have you looked over the skulls of Golgotha? Have you taken a deep breath? Known that the place you stand is a place of death? Have you encountered the progress of the stars? Dried your feet in a riverbank? Making love with monks and nuns out on the old highway? And a windowless room marked by blood where the tourists are burnt to a crisp? The prostitutes have names that sound like donuts? My cock is hard for them. I pawned my typewriter and I wear a silver ring. Bone and flesh pure as roses on a summer's eve, poppy, poppy, opium, nail and nail, lamb, a slow infection and a mind unclear, and what next? The money she earned is in my teeth, like a cat in a wet field. The bus rolls by, and for four days I'm a genius on strike, stuck with jazz music and a cigarette, a loaded gun, I'm ready to play William Tell, unshowered I stink. The day was told by a cowboy hat and a toothpick holding hands. The world feels like an empty cargo ship with no destination. She loved me until my voice began to tremble, stealing from all the right places. Tomorrow is a holy day. I'm going drinking. My hands are arthritic and weak. An uneasy mind is loaded. Smack, speed, uppers, downers. It's all the same. I lost my favorite pen. I bet the junkies took it. They always do. Don't dress in those rags. I know you're not poor. Throwing shade on all you love and drinking the poison. Mr. Hyde. Dracula. Werewolf nightmare and Frankenstein teeth. Cloved feet a billiard game and midget men. Cherry lipstick and contortionist cunt. Split open by a cock rocket. The Arab went flying by the canal and the worst isn't over yet. I could type all day and it wouldn't make a difference. Forgotten were my warnings, the signs, the crystal ball confusion. I have no prophecy. Delicate bodies and wet dreams. I am a cigarette away from happiness, finding out that the party is over. Red flower, junky hairdo, ignored by babysitters, the kind that drink when the mothers are away and the fathers too busy playing pop the weasel with the ladies bouquet club rough stuff sweet as a rose if only for an hour hair decorated with a red ribbon silk a red silk ribbon and toenails an array of colors and a wrist torn open by time pressing affairs and vulva sweet vulva in search of heads i visit the graveyard searching for the bones of your ancestors the dead do not walk, they do not kiss, they do not fuck. Our father who art in my kitchen, pour me another drink and make it stiff, God damn it, you cheap fuck. Whores and mothers drip slowly out of the cathedral, laughing the wail of maniacs, pumping cocks, squeezing breasts as the cum and the perfume mix into a smell of ambergris. We are all just eating the body of Christ. Are we shitting him out too? Nobody's got rent money anymore, but we've all got the sickness. And my life is decided by a committee tied to the wall. A drunk and a junkie holding hands while the organ player seems sick. I think he's jaundiced. I've spent years destroying identities, defacing memories on the windows of the skull. And the razor knows the truth. And the pitchfork afternoon was swept away, and the sun's breath, like anger, 
all confused and weeping, sweating sailors' tears, I look up and I wonder, does the watermelon sugar still fall from the sky? The bar is full of accidents, and down the street the poker game is turned black. There ain't a man alive that could resist. Every other day, another high, another low. It stays consistent like cock sting. And there ain't a junkie in this town that hasn't shared his needle with me. I can't resist Charlie. I bow at their feet. Charlie, my sweet, I find you in every dream and I miss you in every nightmare. Sweet as a rose, if only for an hour or so. I gotta find some fucking whore to give me head. I walked into the room holding a pen, ready to sign away everything, including my soul. People are not ready for me. They tell me to find a better way to occupy my time, so I just do more drugs. It's a Tuesday night, and a marijuana haze pollutes my breath. She had an uncle that lived nearby, and I got in my rose pink Cadillac and picked her up about 40 miles past the county line. I knew my partner wouldn't mind. I dropped her off near the abandoned school, grabbed a smoke, and went to work. I stopped by the shoe shiner, demanding he give me a shine. As I stepped out of the cathedral, wearing a mask, I lit a cigarette thinking of you. And there's gasoline on the ground, a container for the old women who run the Sunday school, and it's all fucked up. It's getting very late, the music's fading out, and I'm headed to Harvey's for the midnight special, taking out a loan from the jar of faces beside the unused excrement. I have a face for every occasion. The drinks are cheap tonight, two dollars for a beer. The traffic is bad, it's like a cigarette haze, and the traffic hums, and the lights blink on and off. I'm wearing the blue eye patch, the one I got from Sandy. There's only tomorrow to get sick in. Passing by unexpected guests and abandoning my position, there's a wolf on the hill. He's hungry for some young hippie flesh, some executive with a hard-on for free thinking. My mind's made up. I have to drink till the sun's up, lending money all the time. I want to taste the jelly donut, the kind that the streetwalker's holding. And a shot of Demerol would do me well, but I ain't akin to no smack. My gas tank is empty. That fucking whore forgot to fill it. But I dream of Charlie when it's a lonely night. And my tank's exploded and there's no more shit to huff. The garbage men haven't cleaned their teeth. Charlie is making me eggs and toast. It's early morning and the sun is leaking through an open window. I forgot to visit Sarah last night, that fucking dope fiend. There's nothing she won't shoot in her arm. Rattlesnake blues and there are no heroes left anymore. We're all suffocating and there's sickness in the air and we've all got it. I spent my last ten dollars on a penny whistle. The coffee's too hot. I can't remember the last time I went to the diner. Eggs, bacon, toast hash browns, black coffee. I think back to lonely October skies when I was staring at her kitchen window. She was getting ready for her day. I was passing by. I didn't know what to say. I'd hope she changed her mind and let me stay. But now it's Charlie and me, and that's the way I like it. Charlie don't give me no bullshit. Love me till I'm dead. I like my toast buttered, and cocaine for breakfast would be nice, but I'm trying to quit that habit. Lucille came to the door at about 10 in the morning looking for work, but I have none to give. I'm just as poor as the rest of them. I dress well, and maybe that's foolish of me. I met up with a girl yesterday. I didn't feel anything. I'm glad I'm with Charlie, visited by a group of friends who came bearing gifts in the form of more drugs, amphetamines. You gotta smash them pills and snort. In my living room, a record twanged off and out. Psychedelic music filled my lungs, getting drunk at the alligator farm, aided in my pursuits by a painter by the name Maloof. And Maloof was a genius. He worked hard when he wasn't busy with the bottle. And together is the only way to get things done. It's been years since my traffic accident when I was smashed into submission by a ton of steel. The chiropractors killed me like the anesthetics, opioid mass, celebrated by Satan. I'd rather live with the roaches than use pesticide. That shit is poison. I don't need it in my lungs. I think to myself while lighting a cigarette, drive up to the beach, feel the grit of the highway on my naked flesh, run over to the mailman and feel bad about it and drink another belt of scotch. Shivis Regal, my preference, and I'm out 50 bucks. 
At least I'm hard at work typing all day long. I don't know if it's worth reading. I cleared my throat and made way for a glass of water. I came home with ten cents in my pocket, a quart of beer, and an apple pie slung on my shoulder. I cut my cheek on a razor this morning. The wound is sore. I saw a waitress at the diner and she wore yellow shorts and she poured me another cup of coffee. Someday I'll bring Charlie here. I have a lot of ideas boiling in my head and you aren't one of them. My mother tells me what I'm good for and it ain't your Chinese food superstition. I like cheap public transportation. There's a carnival today at the old battle park. They're handing out postcards with a dead marine. There's the unmistakable smell of piss and the sun's going down. The liquor has spilled its way all to the river and I filled up on whiskey and fell back into shame. I crawled back to the bank and my shadow became a reflection. For a while I was wrapped up with a woman who lived on 38th Street. She wore an Egyptian dress and tasted like ambrosia. We used to pass the bottle around all night, never spilling a drop. She walked on hills made of diamonds. Well, at least now I have Charlie. And on my way home, I saw them digging in the streets, sucking on cigarettes, bitching and moaning before the sun's had time to rise. A thief, a tramp, a Catholic priest. Tonight they feasted on $100 plates, and I took a break by the old railway, thinking about Charlie and my next cup of coffee. I know they love me, but they're gone away, pregnant, broke, some unfamiliar state. So I walked up the steps past the neighbor and his dog, lighting another cigarette. I saw a TV, blaring advertisements about a toaster oven. The morning's coffee is smooth, supplied to me by hairdressers with a hint of cherry. Sometimes I feel like I'm a brain in a jar, and that's the way I like it. Red lips and some heroin are on my mind, and depression's caught me by the teeth. So I lit up a smoke, puffed away my anxiety and I yearn for something new, something fresh, something clean, a glass of wine and prostitute's hair. When I got home, Charlie and I became like human vines, intertwined and animal-like, angry, wig-wearing mothers who forgot to refill their prescriptions, train whistles stuck in the steam and you spill your guts on the second track. You are a fucking circus clown. What brings you joy over on 4th Street where the perfume could choke a priest? Out with the pimps, out with the whores, that's where you're comfortable. Have you still got the deck of cards with the horses on the back? My pockets are full, some gum and a lighter and a knife. I'm a cigarette away from their taillights and my sunglasses are gone. I'm trying to spend no less than a buck and I'm a fresh shave away from happiness. Looking at the street lights below, I can see some hunger, some sadness, and a loaded gun. I'm ready for this new land. America the beautiful, the brave, the harlot, with a pen and a razor. It's time for the attack. Thank you.